Okay, guys. So um, today, like I said um, last week, we're going to start working in the 15 minutes a day network marketing um, book that Courtney actually suggested, I think in like December. Um, it's been a while, but um, I read through it and then I decided that I wanted to break it down more and go through it um, on the efficiency zoom because it really has a lot of really good tips and tricks um, for growing your business in a short amount of time a day and we never want you to be on your phone all day every day to work this business if you don't have that time um, if you want to pour that time in you can absolutely do that however like it's not really um, necessary all the time when you can find better ways to obviously be efficient and pour into your business in that way. So, um, all right, I'm also distracted because I'm like watching waiting room and stuff. So um, the book really starts with um, talking about 15 minutes and what you can do in those 15 minutes. So it gives the example of when you clean your house, you know, if you spend 15 minutes and you just maintain a room versus letting it all go and then having to like scramble, you know, like somebody says, hey, I'm coming by and you're like, oh crap, like, you know, now I know a lot of us can get the house pretty dang clean in those 15 minutes before somebody pops by. However, um, I mean, sometimes I prefer to do that if I'm being completely honest um because I can get everybody to pitch in but um at the end of the day it is a lot easier to just spend 15 minutes on the dishes or 15 minutes you know putting a new load of laundry in and picking up here and there versus deep cleaning the whole dang thing all at once so when you relate that to your business um it really it goes back to the whole like one bite at a time you know like do one thing in this time frame, instead of just trying to shove, you know, eat the whole elephant, like people talk about, like you, you literally eat, do it all one bite at a time. So when you are intentional in spending 15 minutes or whatever time frame you set, um, I know Tracy time blocks RCMs and she'll set, set five minute timers like Haley's talked about on here too, like set your timers and just be focused. Don't get distracted. Don't do anything, but pour those 15 minutes into working your business. Um, I suggest doing like Tracy's talked about with the RCMs in those, that time frame, the small time frame of doing that. But then you have to pour into it and learn how to multitask a little bit. So listen to Zooms, listen to podcasts, um, get audiobooks, whatever, and start to do those things as you do the dishes or as you're working out or as you're in the shower, even I know Casey's listened to some YouTubes from the shower. Um, I've listened to boot camps from the shower, if I'm being completely honest, because there's just so only an, only so much time in the day. And when you are running a household, running a nine to five, running your business on top of it all, sometimes you have to overlap. Um, so find ways to listen to audio things and squeeze it in and then be intentional in those 15 minutes on your phone working your business. Um, Alicia said she's listening to this in the show and typing in the shower too. So that's <laughs> even better, Alicia. Um, so um, I put out a flyer into the Thrive Army this morning and it's your daily volume for hitting ranks for the month of February. February is a short month. We have three less days than we did last month or next month. So um, you are really gonna have to be more intentional in hitting those small bites per day. The catch is if you have a day where you, you just don't have volume, you know you're gonna have to make up for it to still hit that rank. So don't skip so many days that now you need a thousand in volume you know, at the end of the month that you missed. You skipped taking those little bites and now you have to find a way to eat this whole rest of this elephant. Um, it will not only create anxiety when there didn't need to be anxiety, but um, it will just really make your life a lot easier, generally speaking, day to day. When you do the maintenance, you do the routine work. Um, so that's a lot of the book hits that. Um, it also has this line that says habits come from consistency. Cre you know, habits create consistent, or 
sorry, consistency creates habits. So when you are consistent and you do your posts and you do your RCMs and everything, it, it just kind of naturally starts to happen and habits then don't need willpower to do them because they're just habits. You just do it. You know that when you get your kids out of the bed in the morning, they're going to want breakfast. It's a habit. It's a routine. And you no longer need to convince yourself to do them when they're just, this is part of my day. This is what I do. Um, so give yourself enough time to create those habits and let it just naturally start to happen for you. Um, another big thing that I eventually would love to have Tracy on the efficiency zoom talking about time blockings more in depth, but we don't want you to build your business around your life or we, my words right now. We do want you to build your business around your life. Do not build your life around your business is what I was trying to say. If you know you're in charge of dinner tonight, time block that. Give yourself that 30 minutes, whatever it's going to take for you to cook dinner, get it on the table and even eat with your family because we don't want your business to take over your life, your family time, and you're sacrificing so much that you just don't even want to do your business anymore because it can get overwhelming when you let that start to happen. Um, and you really just kind of feel like you want to throw in the towel. And whereas if you do it the opposite way around, you're fitting your business into your nooks and crannies of your life. It's a whole lot easier to time block and say, okay, you know, I know that this next hour that I'm going to spend with my kids is going to be worthwhile, but I'm going to take these 15 minutes right here, right now. And I'm going to pour into my business. Um, and kind of, it comes kind of becomes a reward for you doing your business is getting to have that time. Krista, today is her first day. <laughs> She's deer in the headlights. Today is her first day not having to go to the vet clinic. Um, I can only imagine what her day feels like today because she's not having to, she was able to give that up. Um, but now she's got to create a new routine and learn how to squeeze her business into her home life. Um, and that's a whole new thing for her. Um, it's going to be interesting and I can't wait to see her succeed in that because I know she's going to rock it. But, um, efficiency really comes when you start to find ways to grow your skills. Um, it talks about success is um, keeping a positive mindset on top of having the skills to run your business. Those skills are gonna come from these Zooms. Those skills are gonna come from your uplines. Those skills are not always natural. You cannot just expect to know how to run a networking business. You might have some of those personal skills that you need to talk to people, but you're not always gonna have the business skills that you need. So pour into the Zooms, even, you know, we try to keep them 15, 20 minutes so that you can use those 15, 20 minutes to listen while you're in the shower or whatever. Um, we don't want it to be overwhelming. So pour into the YouTube channel, pour into your Trellos, pour into those things and find ways to grow your skills because success, like I said, is skills and it's mindset. So focus on the positive. Um, if you're looking for positive things, you're going to see positive things. If you're looking for negativity, you're going to see negativity. Sorry, Haley, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, her kids are destroying her house. Um, focus on the positive, Haley. <laughs> um, you, they have toys to destroy. Um, it's not always easy to see the positive. Um, but when you're looking for it, you're going to see it. Um, and when you're looking for the negative, that's what you're going to see too. So keep the positive mindset. Yeah, Tracy said you could be homeschooling 10. Um, keep the positive mindset and grow your skills because that's where the success is gonna come from. So um, that's the first like two chapters in a nutshell. Um, it's really easy read. So if you haven't gotten the book, I really encourage you to do so. Um, Haley, do you have anything you wanna pop in? I know the kids are probably in the background having a grand old time with the toys, but um, I really just want you guys to learn how to obviously be efficient, but um, work into the nooks and crannies truly, because it can be just that. Um, it does not require you to be on your phone all the time when you learn how to be efficient with it. Casey said, network marketing is the only career that doesn't judge. It's the only career that doesn't ask for your credentials to start however you need to develop those skills. Yeah, Jesse Lee paraphrased. Um, it absolutely requires skills that not everybody is going to have.
that I'll take. So um, does anybody have questions or uh, what book are we talking about? How to Build Your Network Marketing Business in 15 Minutes a Day by Tom Big Al Schreider. This orange, Big Al, yeah. <laughs> I see Sue Ellen. Um, and Keith, Keith and Tom, Big Al Schreider. Um, yeah, super cheap on Amazon. Um, super easy read. It's not anything difficult. Um, if you're a person that likes to read and that's your time, um, it even talks about making, you know, time before bed or getting up before the kids in the morning to read or just, you know, on a lunch break, if you work a nine to five, just, I know a lot of people like to go sit in a car just to have quiet. So use that time. Um, there's, there's always a way to do the things you really want to do. Um, you don't, you don't make the time because everybody has the same 24 hours in a day, but you can take it when you need it. Um, so if nobody else has any questions, we're going to dig into probably two to three chapters at, at, per meeting because it's that fast of a read, not easy. Um, so I'll be like paraphrasing basically. Um, so if you don't want to get the book and just want to tune into the efficiency zooms, that's fine too, but I still encourage you to get it and read it. So if nobody has any questions, um, I'm gonna let you guys go so that we can keep this short and able to catch up. But I, what is that face for, Sue Ellen? <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're showing me. Um, I if love you guys. The guy died today. Oh. So sad. Um, my new hubby? No, he's dead. <laughs> he's not my new hubby, he died. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not recording anymore. <laughs>